Welcome back to the channel. I am in Loisaba Tented Camp in Loisaba Conservancy, Northern Kenya, and this room is amazing. I have already had a shower because I was so dusty. My hair is basically matted together that I was afraid to touch anything in the room. So I jumped in the shower and now let's do the room tour. So this is the entrance to the tent. I say tent in inverted commas. There's a lot of wood going on there, but either way, it looks really nice. As you can see, there's quite a good bit of storage space. You can hang things. There's also mosquito repellent and bug spray in the room, which was handy. I really like these sculptures going into the room. It made the entranceway seem very grand. There's lots of space in this room, as you can see, which was just great. I really like the bed and the view is something else, but I'll show you that in more detail later. They have a desk in the room and they had drinking water in that jug. The bathroom is, you know, standard bathroom. Then the shower, I was really impressed with. It was good water pressure, lots of different functions. There's like three different shower heads and the amenities were all their own brand. I can confirm that they were very nice as I used lots of the shampoo and conditioner to save my hair after all the dust. This is the outside of the tent. There's lots of places to sit or sunbathe. I like that it was quite private. It was just my parents' tent next to my tent and we had our own little walkway down, but otherwise no one really came down to the area. And the view. Tell you about getting here because we had a disaster. From where I last left you in the last video, Nanyuki, it was supposed to be a three hour drive to here. On the moment, I think that we went wrong is that we mapped it on my dad's phone and it was one hour 47. And then we mapped it on my phone and it was three hours and five minutes. But we did look and they looked like in the same area. Admittedly, we're not that familiar with this area, so we didn't look in great detail. But we just then went with the faster route. I just assumed that my phone like hadn't updated properly and didn't know all the routes in Kenya. And off we sat and it was a terrible road. Like we were bumping up and down for two hours. And the thing was, my mom was a bit suspicious because the road was so terrible she thought that not many people could be possibly going up and down it but the whole landscape was just completely empty and there's no one around for miles there's no one that we could stop and ask so and also the map that we were following or the route that we were following it did seem to be accurate because every time it said left turn there was a left turn or a right turn there was a right turn so we kept following it and we followed it right till the end and there was nothing there where it said Los Alba Tented Camp we pitched up and there was nothing <laughs> so off we set back and we used my phone and my phone was showing it to be in a completely different location it's about 18 miles as the crow flies but 3 hours 30 minutes driving because you had to go all the way back and then go all the way around so we got an hour back onto the main road, bumping up and down, had proper signal at that point. So called the hotel, WhatsApp them, sent locations, back and forth, WhatsApping. And they said, apparently that way was right. We missed some turn at some point, I'm not sure, but we could go another way. That was another two and a half hours. <laughs> so that's the way we did. 
and this one was getting late and we were a bit worried we're like if we get lost again then we're just stuck in the car in the middle of nowhere it's not very safe but thankfully we did eventually find this place but it was seven hours of driving when it should have been three and a half we also ran out of food and we didn't have any water in the car so by the time it came to dinner we were so hungry could have eaten anything but the food was very nice i did like it good morning it is 6 a.m i haven't woken up this early since i got to kenya about two weeks ago nearly i really wanted to see the sunrise it's going to be really nice with the view i hope uh, the cool thing about here is that you actually can ask them to bring you coffee or tea in the morning and they'll come whatever time you want with as a wake up call with the tray of coffee. So they've just come, I'll show you. This is the coffee and biscuits. I'm going to try and open up all of this so that we get the best view. At this point I realized I wasn't going to be able to see sunrise from my room, so I quickly headed down to the other side of the camp to one of the infinity pools. How beautiful is that? I just went for a morning swim. It wasn't actually as cold as I thought it would be. It's about 7 a.m. right now, and I missed the sunrise. I was too far on the wrong direction, but now I know where to come. Didn't bring a towel though, so now I'm soaking. <laughs> I think they're not used to people swimming this early. Hi guys, so I actually missed some of the stuff in the room yesterday because we came in so late and I was super tired. But I forgot to tell you that we all got water bottles, which is really nice. And they have the name of the collection on it. Nice material. We got little kits that came with two sets of fresh wipes. Also hand sanitizer. And a reusable mask. And the best bit, and I can't believe I missed this because I'm such a chocoholic. But my mom pointed this out to me this morning and I already have eaten a lot of them. But I got brownie bites. They're delicious. They were right with the tea and coffee. We haven't had breakfast yet. It's nearly, I don't know, it's like 8.30 or so. I'm gonna quickly shower and get ready for breakfast. And then we'll make a plan for the day. After breakfast, we just relax by the pool before heading out for safari in the afternoon. You can see the plants here, they're called prickly pears, and they are alien plant species, and they're displacing a lot of the natural plant species of the Lakipia region. So Lasaba is working hard to try and remove them. In the safari we saw two types of zebra, they're the gravy zebra and the plain zebra which you can see here. We also saw lots of elephants, we saw some giraffe, we unfortunately didn't see any cats. We only went on the one safari though, normally we'd go on at least two in a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, but we were all a bit wrecked from the drive and needed a bit of chill time by the pool. 
Amazingly, one of the groups that were there, the day after we left, they saw a black leopard. I've never seen a black leopard before and I've gone on quite a few safaris having grown up in Kenya. Unbelievable, the photos are just so nice, I'll put them in here. cleaning my room this morning saw my really dusty dirty clothes from yesterday I was like do you want us to do laundry it's free no extra charge and we'll get it back to you by this evening and here it is fresh laundry <laughs> Good morning! It is my last morning in Lysaba. I'm so sad. This camp is beautiful. We now have a six hour drive back to Nairobi. I really hope we don't get lost. <laughs> I woke up again around six. It was a bit easier than yesterday morning. I think I went to bed a bit earlier, so that was good. I didn't swim. It was really cold. Uh, but I got to see an amazing sunrise. Funny story from yesterday when I showed you guys my laundry my white shorts were missing the white shorts that i was wearing on the journey up here that were covered in dust and i asked the guy about it and he said that they were so dirty that all of the dust couldn't be washed off with just one wash so they were washing them multiple times yesterday and now i've got them back this morning and they look good <laughs> uh, the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go fill up my water bottle that they gave when we got to the camp I've noticed that this camp is so eco-friendly, which is great. There's no plastic water bottles anywhere. I read that that saves them about 200 bottles a day, which is so good. Uh, they also have no plastic, and they also grow a lot of their own vegetables, saves them transporting it in, and they've just made a really conscious effort to be sustainable and supporting the environment, which is really good. Okay, so I'm hungry, so let's go to breakfast. Thankfully we made it home okay, we stopped off on the way at the Thompson's Falls Lodge which was really nice for lunch and then went to have a look at the waterfall which was beautiful. I hope you liked this video, please do consider subscribing and hit the like button. See you next time, bye!